This is a stupid video. There we go, I managed to say it before you did. Having played Minecraft for most of my life, I've recently been spending more time outside of Minecraft, and I've realised that... Well, there's quite a lot of discrepancies. There's lots of things that happen in Minecraft that don't necessarily happen in real life. And I I've been taking notes, and I thought I'd make a video on it. Let's start things off with the easy ones. The real world is not made of blocks. Falling from a great height into a very small puddle is unlikely to save you. Plunging trees actually really hurts. And if you were eventually to remove a significant chunk of the tree, it's probably not going to stay where it was originally. The nether isn't real. The end isn't real. If you die, it is unlikely that you will respawn. Animals don't tend to have babies by having wheat thrown at them. Imprisoning the people of your village and forcing them to work for you is generally frowned upon. Carrying this much weight and volume should be completely impossible. In fact, storing anything more than one meter cubed inside of a less than one meter cubed container is pretty unbelievable. I mean, I don't even know what to say about this. If you throw an item on the floor, it likely won't disappear within five minutes, unless you live in an area with a lot of crime. And throwing that same item onto a cactus is likely to do more damage to the cactus than it is to the item. Whatever happens, it's definitely not going to disappear. So that's the basic all cleared up. Hopefully there weren't any surprises in there. If there were, I'm concerned for you. So now it's time to move on to the first category of the video, and that is Minecraft people. The the people. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, normally you would say Steve, but that's obviously not Steve. That's me. Who am I then? My face is a camera and I have no legs. I appear to just be hovering, which is actually totally normal in Minecraft. In fact, that's another thing that could go in the video. Bonus facts aside, let's begin. Minecraft people are incredibly muscular. You see those arms right there? They are 40 inches around. Okay, that's like double the size of Arnold in his prime. As it's enormous. But apparently with big arms comes big heads because the Minecraft player's head is two meters in circumference, which is like four times the national average. Now that doesn't seem particularly aerodynamic, which makes this next stat even more impressive because at walking speed, this guy will do a 10K in 38 minutes, which is like the speed of an elite runner. And that's without even sprinting. Minecraft players can repeatedly jump one meter high without even bending their legs, which is impressive, if not a little bit weird looking when you watch it for a while. And crouching in real life does not prevent you from falling off of things. In fact, it probably makes it more likely. And crouching in real life certainly doesn't allow you to do this. Eating a golden apple probably isn't going to give you a bunch of power ups. Instead, it's just going to be horrendously expensive. And swimming next to a dolphin would just be good fun. It certainly won't allow you to travel at 170 kilometers an hour. Also being in creative mode generally just means that you're painting or you're writing or you're doing some form of photography project. It certainly doesn't mean that you can fly about and have infinite access to items. And before I get too sad about this, let's move on to terrain. Outside of the obvious, which we covered in the basic section, the fact that the entire world is made of blocks, there's also plenty of other things that Minecraft does slightly weirdly. Minecraft worlds are beautiful in their own special way, but when compared to real life, they are flawed to say the least. So let's start things off with mountains. Having recently spoken to an actual certified geologist about this, Minecraft mountains are not actually mountains. In fact, they're barely even notable hills. This mountain, despite being all snow-capped and lovely looking, is only 70 meters taller than the terrain that surrounds it. That's barely even a bump. And while I'm in the business of discussing controversial topics, I recently discovered this book that says this. Now before you all accuse me of being paid off by NASA, remember it was the book that said it and not me. But how can we assume that the Minecraft Earth is actually flat? Maybe it is a globe. Well that comes with its own set of problems. As explained in this video by Crafty Masterman, essentially the force of gravity will be really very strong, which makes these one meter jumps even more impressive. Despite being called rivers, these are in fact lakes. The water's not flowing anywhere, and it definitely doesn't lead to the ocean. Rock formations can't actually float in real life. Yeah, this probably could have gone on the easy bit now that I think about it. The average Minecraft oak tree is incredibly small. You see, in real life, oak trees are around about 20 meters tall. Even large oak trees in Minecraft are just below average when it comes to real life stuff. Okay, let's move away from terrain and onto mobs. Minecraft mobs are funny little things, aren't they? I mean, look at this guy. <laughs> He's looking at me. I mean, look, I know I've got a big head, you know, two meters around, but this guy's mostly head. His head was also mostly in this birch tree. I apologize for what you just had to experience. The more I play this game, the more things I realize are wrong with it. Let's just get on to mobs, shall we? Skeletons wouldn't actually be able to use bows. You see, drawing a bow requires all of the muscles in your back to create the tension, and, well, skeletons don't have any. Of course, that's a very minor point compared to the fact that they don't actually exist, and they wouldn't be able to stand up if they did. In fact, and I know this is low-hanging fruit, but basically none of the hostile mobs that exist in Minecraft actually exist in real life, apart from spiders. But Minecraft spiders are 1.4 meters by 1.4 meters. I certainly hope that they don't exist in real life because otherwise I don't want to exist in real life. And on the topic of things that don't exist in real life, we've got the non-glowing glow squid. You see the real life glow squid actually glows. It actually emits light. Unlike this, this absolute waste. Killing a cow on average gives 180 cuts of steak, which makes this 
seem like a bit of a bad deal. But let's be honest, it's probably a worse deal for the cow, isn't it? Peace, love, and plants. But while we're on the topic of killing innocent animals, killing a chicken with a looting sword can yield up to four dead chickens. Which is weird, when you actually think about it. Where are you storing all of them? <laughs> if you throw an egg at the ground, it's very unlikely to spawn new life. It's much more likely to just make a mess. Bees are quite significantly bigger than parrots in Minecraft, which is rather terrifying. And now for the moment that I've certainly been waiting for. The weird and wonderful world of redstone. Bitch. Also doesn't exist in real life, but I feel like I've done that enough throughout the video, so I'm not going to keep doing it. It's kind of a limited number of times that I can actually say that, isn't there? Otherwise, this whole video could just be me scrolling through the inventory going, doesn't exist, doesn't exist, doesn't exist. Maybe that could be part two. Let's move on before I get any more stupid ideas. A mechanical piston could probably push more than 12 blocks of dirt. But with that being said, unless it was incredibly heavy in this situation, it would probably just push itself backwards which would make building redstone contraptions very, very frustrating, but also could lead to some very interesting game mechanics. I'm going to be awake all night thinking about this. Blocks of honey would not make a good basis for large mechanical contraptions. In fact, blocks of honey probably wouldn't remain as blocks for very long. One meter cube of TNT would do a lot more damage than this. I mean, that looks pretty gnarly, but <clears throat> I have a book for this. One block of TNT is 1.6 tons of TNT. Now, in 1918, there was an explosion at Split Rock Munitions Factory where between one and three tons or one and two blocks of TNT exploded. It leveled the building and killed 50 people, which is very sad, but it also kind of proves my point. Contrary to what Minecraft would have you believe, you can actually push furnaces. They are quite heavy, but they can be moved. Can you imagine how expensive a new kitchen would be if you also had to deal with an immovable oven? That would be a nightmare. And on the topic of how expensive things are, let's move on to resources. And it turns out, contrary to how it may feel sometimes, resources in Minecraft are incredibly abundant. Like, very, very abundant. Let's start things off with gold. I'm currently standing on 25 meters cubed of gold. Now, that is significant because that is about as much gold as humankind has mined ever. Like, in the entire history of gold mining, this is the estimate of how much gold there actually is. I mean, it's a lot. It is a lot. Like, I would be very happy with this amount of gold. <laughs> But it's not that much, is it? I'll show you something else. You see this diamond right here? Don't don't you steal my diamond. I saw you coming across. If you're not careful, mate, I'll make 180 stakes out of you. You can tell how long it took for me to come up with that joke because of how far away the cow was. And it, he's back! This guy is urgent to steal my diamond. Oh my goodness. It would be the biggest diamond. Okay, let's move on. You know, obsidian? That essentially indestructible, immovable object in Minecraft. Yeah, in real life, it's just glass. It's actually quite brittle and fragile. And what's even worse is if you arrange it into a rectangle, it doesn't even make a portal. Now, one positive of researching this video is I found out that they do actually transport lava in buckets, which I do find hilarious. But my excitement was slightly ruined when I found out that as soon as you put it into the bucket, it essentially cools down and immediately turns into rock. In fact, if you transport lava anywhere, it's gonna be rock, which is obvious, isn't it? I mean, it's not gonna stay molten forever. I deserve this. I deserve to burn and die. Okay, let's briefly touch on one of my favorite subjects, farming, which, let's be honest, just even looking at this right now, we can sense some slight differences between real life and Minecraft, so let's talk about that. As much as it breaks my heart a little bit, real life large-scale industrial farms like melon and pumpkin or sugarcane or bamboo do not in fact use slime block based flying machines to do the harvesting. They actually just use a bunch of manual labor. There's also not many recorded instances of tree farms that make use of TNT to harvest the trees. <laughs> Nor are there too many examples of cactus growing next to a fence post but not touching it, popping off and hopefully landing in some water. I mean, I could keep going, but I don't think I need to say much more on the matter. However, I do think it's worth mentioning that the common Minecraft technique of jamming a bunch of cows into a one meter hole in order to breed them is probably illegal in many countries. So Minecraft is very different from real life. But I think I've left the biggest difference to the very end of the video. You see, in real life, I can't actually grow a mustache.